I'm sitting here at Valley College in Humanities Room 104, and I'm thinking about persuasive speaking. I want to address some of the issues that people have with persuasive speaking. Often, this seems to be one that's the most difficult for students to sort of grasp. Um, so I want to get into that a little bit deeper than what I've written down. So remember, this needs to be a problem, cause, solution speech. You have to identify a problem. You have to tell us where the problem comes from. And then you have to give us a way to solve it. And that is one of the biggest issues that people have is there's no solvency. You don't need to solve for world problems. You know, for, for example, let me start off with just talking about probably one of the most effective speeches I've had in my class. And it's a student who did a speech on bad breath. Great, because clearly there's a problem. We know where that problem comes from. And one of his solutions was to floss your teeth and then smell the floss. And if you smell the floss and it's really stinky, you likely have bad breath. I knew that speech was effective when the next class students came in. They were like, oh, my God, I smelled the floss. It was so disgusting. And I, and I gave that student extra credit because of that because the students went out and they did what he suggested. Okay. So start to think about that. So, so let's say, for example, you want to do a speech on smoking. That's probably the, the number one topic that people want to speak about. It's not a great topic because... Like in my classes, I'll ask the class, how many people in this room smoke? These days, maybe one, often none. So if a student gets up in front of the class and, says, and does a speech on no smoking, there's no persuasion there because people already don't smoke. And years ago, I had a presentation in one of my classes where the students brought in uh, a person who had a part of her throat removed. She had throat cancer, and so she, she spoke through a box you know, in her throat. I watched students during the break smoke cigarettes and talk about her. So, I mean, that, that's kind of the ultimate in persuasion. It still didn't affect people. Okay? If you get into controversial topics like capital punishment, uh, abortion, topics like that, you know, what's the solvency? So let's say, for example, I have an opinion on capital punishment or abortion. You get up in front of the class and you persuade me otherwise. What can I personally do to then solve for that problem? You know, Odds are not a whole lot. That's why those topics aren't that good for a persuasive speaking class that mandates a solution. You know, it's kind of equivalent of like aliens exist, right? So a lot of people think, oh, I want to talk about, you know, it's persuasive. So if you get up here and say, you might persuade me that aliens exist, but is there a problem with not thinking aliens exist? Is there a cause? And then if you do persuade me that aliens exist, what's the solution? There likely is not a solution. Okay? So you want to start looking around your lives for those things that you think have solvency. To me, the perfect example is I once had a student came up to me and just asking me for persuasive topics, and she had soft casts on both of her wrists. And um, I said, what happened to your wrist? And she said she had carpal tunnel. And I said, well, is there a problem with carpal tunnel? And she said, yes, it hurts, causes a lot of pain. Do we know what causes carpal tunnel? And she said, yes, you know, there's certain things, repetitive motion, that kind of stuff. I said, are there solutions? Are there ways to mitigate it? Are there ways to treat it? Are there ways to prevent it? And she said, yes. <laughs> I said, that's it. I said, you have the perfect topic. You are a walking visual aid. Okay? So as you're going through topics, think about those topics that you think have the best potential to affect your audience. Okay, so you're not speaking to the class right now. You're speaking to a group of people that you have selected. What is something that's important to them that you think affects them, that you know where it comes from, and then finally you know what can solve it. Okay? Email me if you have any questions.